Leo DeMay, who is a son of Private Andre Regimbald, who joined the Korean War as a member of the UN forces and was killed in action. He was born eight months after his father was killed in action. Adopted by another family and grew up as a civil servant, Leo DeMay asked the adoption agency for information on his biological parents and heard about his late father. At last, in 2007, he came to visit the Busan UN Memorial Park, where his father was buried. Two clusters of rows laying on the grave, one for his biological mother, who could not accompany him for her health problem, and the other one for himself. Mr. Leo DeMay had kept his father's grave for 10 years until he went back to his motherland on May 31st. The Korean War was a tragedy of ideology that was created by the collision of two ideologies in the Cold War era. 4 a.m. June 25, 1950. The Korean War broke out war with a surprise attack of North Korea across the 38th parallel. Seoul, the capital of South Korea, which fell into the hands of the enemy as Kim Il-sung had talked large to end the war. The North Korean forces continued to march south and push the front down to the Nakdong River, giving pressure to cut the main artery of South Korea connecting Daegu to Busan. The United Nations has sent troops, medical services, and supplies to repatriate North Korea after defining the North Korean invasion of the South as illegal. The Allied soldiers who entered into a war to protect a people that they never knew and that they never met and to defend the liberal democracy. The hot summer of 1950. Our forces were pushed back to the Nakdong River front, which is only 100 kilometers away from Busan, the southernmost tip of the Korean peninsula. Now, the last fence to defend the Republic of Korea is the Nakdong River. General Walker, the U.S. 8th Army commander, built the Nakdong River front line as the last defense line and began to keep the Walker line. The ROK U.S. combined forces, who met in a strange way but fought together as a team. On all fronts, the U.S. Army and other Allied forces fought against the enemy's August major offensive to defend the liberal democracy. When the enemy supply route was blocked by Allied forces, carpet bombing in the northwestern part of Wegwan, where the North Korean forces were assembled, their morale fell to the ground. In the 55-day long, fierce battle along the Nakdong River, as many as 160,000 were killed, missing, or wounded from the Allied forces, including the U.S. Army. Like this, they have fallen sadly in a strange foreign land to defend the liberal democracy. As a result of keeping the Maginot Line based on their sacrifice, our all-out counterattack began with the Incheon Landing Operation, led by General MacArthur on September 15th. A number of the U.S. Army war heroes who had kept the Nakdong River with their invincible fighting spirit we will never forget their noble sacrifice. As the center of the Great Nakdong Offensive, Chilgo County, Gyeongsangbukdo, is actively working on the review of how we fought at the battle and how we defeated the communist. The Chilgo Patriots and Peace Memorial Hall to review the Great Nakdong Offensive, which was opened two years ago. Large helmets with holes over and there and shell sculptures. These are the trace of six to seven hundred soldiers falling on the Nakdong River line every day. Though they were killed in the battlefield, we are honoring their noble sacrifice, keeping their ID cards, serial number chains, and precious photos. The Nakdong River World Peace Culture Festival which has been held annually by Chilgok County to recall the will of national defense, infiltrated in the Nakdong River Chilgok district, the last bastion of the war. We have prepared various programs, such as the memorial ceremony,
to express gratitude for the participation in the Korean War. Wigwan Railroad Bridge Parade, where you can participate in person. And virtual Nakdong River Battle. We are inviting all of you from the U.S. Army to this year's event at the Chilgok Ecological Park from September 22nd to 24th. Without your sacrifice and support 67 years back, the Korean Peninsula must have become the red territory of the communists. We hope that the Korea-U.S. Blood Alliance will be much more consolidated at this opportunity of the Nakdong River World Peace Culture Festival.